tell it from the mountaintop. I will go and tell it. I will go and tell it. Tell it from the mountaintop. This is looking good. Right, right there. there. Yeah, perfect. Right, like right here. Huh. My side looks good. Oh, hi. Welcome to Story Lab. This week we're talking about Christmas. And putting more decorations on our tree. More tinsel? Always. Perfect. Plus, we also might show you something that might just rock your world. Hey, I'm Zeke. And I'm Carter. And today we're talking about, what else? Christmas. Christmas is celebrating Jesus, God's greatest gift. What's this? This is a rock. But what does a rock have to do with Christmas? Plenty. Rocks aren't exactly exciting. Didn't you ever have a pet rock? What's up, Flintstone? Oh, I'm doing great. Just a great day. Awesome. I don't make a habit of talking to rocks. Well, then you're missing out. Oh yeah? You know what they call the process of drilling through rock? Making holes in a rock? Nope, it's called boring. Boring. But rocks aren't boring. In fact, when you really think about it, rocks... Hold on, man. If you're about to say rocks rock, please don't. Listen, I get that rocks can look pretty common and ordinary, but there's more to this rock than meets the eye. And I can prove it. You're kidding. Nope. Okay then. Let's do it! Now, the most important thing about this rock isn't what's on the outside, but on the inside. All right, man. So, break it down. How about you break it down? Okay. Is that really the best you can do? <laughs> you know, on the outside, it looks like a plain old rock, but it's actually a geode. You're listening to WROK, your home for classic rocks. Up next, it's geode. Rough and bumpy on the outside, but on the inside, beautiful crystals made of minerals. Dig it. I've heard of geodes. 
you can find them all over the world, right? That's right. Europe, Africa, South America, and North America. But how are these fancy diamond eggs, you know, made? It all starts with volcanoes. Sometimes when lava from a volcano cools underground, pockets or bubbles form inside it. Then, over time, water seeps into these spaces and leaves behind minerals. Eventually, those minerals build up, forming these really cool crystals. They come in all sorts of shapes and colors. And all kinds of sizes, too. You got it. From small enough to hold in your hand all the way to ginormous. One of the largest geodes in the world was discovered in Ohio in 1897. That geode is more than 35 feet wide in places. You can actually walk around inside it. Some of the crystals are three feet long. Okay, you convinced me. Something can look very ordinary on the outside while something amazing is happening on the inside. Speaking of which, it's time for... The Story Before the Story. Today, we're in the third book of the New Testament. Luke. But hundreds of years before Luke, God chose one family, the Israelites, and promised to bless the whole world through them. Time after time, the Israelites turned away from God. At last, they were attacked by foreign nations. But God still had a plan. God spoke through men called prophets, promising to send a rescuer to save the people. And yet, after that, silence. For hundreds of years, there was no recorded word from God. Then, well, that's where our story starts. Take it away. Hey everyone, Brian here. Many of the Israelites were carried off to foreign countries, but even as that happened, God promised not to give up on them. I know the plans I have for you. I want you to enjoy success. I do not plan to harm you. I will give you hope for the years to come. But after the prophets, silence. So what happened? Did God forget his promise? Not at all. In fact, as we'll see, his plan came together at just the right time. Because in the town of Nazareth lived an ordinary young woman named Mary. And one day, an angel named Gabriel visited. Greetings, Mary. The Lord has blessed you in a special way. He is with you. Whoa, I mean, can we just pause for a moment to think about how shocked Mary must have been? I mean, boom, angel in my living room, right? And we know she must have been scared because Gabriel then said, Do not be afraid, Mary. God is very pleased with you. Gabriel went on to explain that God's plan for rescuing the people had finally begun, and Mary would play a major part in that rescue. You will become pregnant and give birth to a son. You must call him Jesus. Okay, so Mary had some questions. Who wouldn't? But even though she didn't fully understand everything, she replied, I serve the Lord. May it happen to me just as you said it would. <laughs> Mary was so excited, she traveled to see her cousin Elizabeth, who was also going to have a baby. And even before Mary shared the good news, Elizabeth cried out, God has blessed you more than other women. As soon as I heard the sound of your voice, the baby inside me jumped for joy. You are a woman God has blessed. You have believed that the Lord would keep his promises to you. And Mary praised God. My soul gives glory to the Lord. He has taken note of me even though I'm not considered important. He has helped the people of Israel who serve him. He's done it just as he promised to our people of long ago. Even though Mary didn't know the whole story yet, she knew and trusted God. And because of that, she could have peace in the midst of something completely unexpected. The end. Wow. Can you imagine what it would have been like if social media existed back then? Yeah, I would have been all hashtag mind blown. I hear you. And yet Mary had peace because she trusted God. She may have looked ordinary on the outside, but God knew her heart was extraordinary. Hey, just like my geode. What do you mean? Well, you know, nothing special on the outside, but amazing on the inside. Ah, you're right. So, what's our part in the story? Well, 
Christmas is celebrating Jesus, God's greatest gift. But Jesus wasn't just a gift. He was the central part of God's big plan to rescue us. That means we can have peace because God always has a plan, even when we're scared or sad or uncertain about something. Like if you suddenly have to move to a new town in the middle of a school year or if a family pet dies. Or you find out that you're going to have a new baby brother or sister. No matter what happens, you can choose to give it to God because God has a plan so we can have peace. I don't know why I'm here. I couldn't have said it better myself. See you guys next time. So here's the thing. You can have peace because God has a plan. Hey, decorating with geodes? Good call. What can I say? These rocks rock. <laughs> Thanks for joining us in the Story Lab. See you next time. That was a pretty good joke. Thank you, thank you, thank you. But you've had some good ones as well. Uh, kind of learned from you, you know. Yeah, they're all right.